Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial, we will learn how to find the missing number for numbers up to 50. And we will do this for subtraction questions. So let's have a look at the two examples we're going to be working through. The first one is 46 minus something equals 31. The second one is something minus 14 equals 28. So two different examples with the missing numbers, that's the boxes, in different positions. Okay, now in previous tutorials we've used the number line or the number grid. You are welcome to use that. However, at this stage you should be learning a few different methods. So let's have a look at the first question. We've got 46 minus something equals 31. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this box and swap it with the number 31 because it's a lot easier to work out if we have the box which is the missing number on one side of the equal sign and the numbers on the other side. So this equation then becomes we've got 46 minus 31 equals the missing number. Okay, This is now a lot easier to work out. Now how are we going to do this? Well we're going to use the vertical format. So let's do this over here. We've got 46 minus 31 for the equal sign. We can label the units, sorry label the columns. We've got units and tens. Okay, we are ready to go ahead and do the subtraction. Always check the sign. Starting on the right hand side, the units, we've got 6 minus 1. 6 minus 1 is 5. On to the tens, we've got 4 minus 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. And that's our answer, 15. 46 minus 31 equals 15. Go back to the original question, we've got 46 minus 15 equals 31. So the missing number is 15. Okay, so that was nice and simple. Now let's have a look at the second one. This time we've got the missing number at the beginning. Missing number minus 14 equals 28. Now again, the objective is that we get the missing number on one side of the equal sign. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the 14 and we're going to move it to the right hand side. Okay, And because we're going to move it to the right hand side, the minus is going to become a plus. So this question will then read the missing number equals 28 plus 14. Missing number equals 28 plus 14. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to again use the vertical format. We've got 28 plus 14. 28 plus 14. We can label the columns. We've got units and tens. Okay, so we are now ready to go ahead and do the addition. Always check the sign. So on the right hand side, the units, we've got 8 plus 4. Okay, we've got 8 plus 4. 8 plus 4 is 12. Okay, we can write this down. 1 and 2. That is 12. Now on to the tens, we've got 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1 is 3 plus the one we have carried over, 3 plus 1 is 4. And that's our answer, 42. 42 equals 28 plus 14. Now write this in the original question. We've got 42 minus 14 equals 28. So we have found the missing number in both questions using the vertical format. And all we've had to do is to reorder the question so that the missing number, the box, is on one side and the numbers are on the other side. So that is how we find the missing number for numbers up to 50 for subtraction questions.